Beth Castellini with Lizzie Stamps. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Today I wanted to show you a technique that I showed a while back and we're going to be using some of the new products coming out in the new annual 2024-2025 catalog which starts May 1st. And I just want to show you the cover. I love the embossed leafing around it. And this catalog is a little bit thinner than before, but there's so much to offer. And the way that the catalog is laid out this year, I really, really like. And it's going to be for any kind of crafter from a beginner to an avid crafter. So we're gonna get started. And I can't show you the catalog just yet, not until the catalog goes live. But I did want to show you, this was back in October when I did the, um, this was the Magical Meadow stamp set. And I used some beautiful colors, some, I used Moody Mauve and I used Smoky Slate and I used Lost Lagoon and Blueberry Bushel. But I did it with one sheet and then I cut it down. So I was going to show you today how to get started again. Um, first of all, I want to show you the new ink colors because those are the colors that we're going to be working with today. And that's what I worked with some that I used before. So we have Summer Splash, Shy Shamrock, Pretty in Pink. This is a um, this was a retired color that they brought back. So these are the new in colors. Peach Pie. And the last one is Petunia Pop. This was a fan favorite at On Stage in Houston just a couple of weeks ago. But if you put all of these colors together, I know there's a glare with the light, but you can see how beautiful the colors are and they all work together and we're going to be working with them today so the first thing i want to show you i used some of the new colors and i'm going to put this together so you can see so this i started with one sheet let me get it so you can see exactly how i put it together i think that's yes it went like this and then, here we go. Is that, yes, that's how it went. So hopefully you can see. So I started with a sheet um, of eight and a half by 11 and I cut it down to four, I mean, I'm sorry, to eight by 10 and a half, okay? And then I scored it at the eight inch, I scored it at four. And then at the 10 and a half, I scored it at five and a quarter. So I started with that. And then I used this new beautiful Layers of Beauty stamp set. And it comes with dies. Here are the dies that it comes with. So it has the die that cuts out the big floral image. And then it has some independent dies and then some other dies that go with some of the stamped images that you can cut out. I do love the writing in this. Grateful for you. Happy anniversary. God bless. You make my heart smile. This is actually a million dollar um, sales achiever. And it's Shelly Godby who designed this stamp set with the dies. And she also has these beautiful layers of beauty decorative masks. So that's what we're using today with our blending brushes. So here's some very simple cards. This is with sympathy and I'm using these beautiful new 2024 to 2026 in color shimmer gems. So here they are and look at the shimmer. And then this one, happy birthday, that's stamped in garden green but look at that one. And then I have ones going, so these two are going vertical, and then these two 
are going horizontal. And here is this. This is a new stamp set as well. This one again is another million sales achiever, Unbounded Love. Um, this is Debbie Mosek, and she designed this. This has dies that come with it as well, but look at all of the, I call them ins and outs, but look at the script, and then you've got the typeset. You could do um, hope, love, love, faith, hope. You can, best of luck, peace, happy birthday with sympathy. Uh, there's just so many different sayings, and then you've got the um, other wording that goes with the script words. I think this is just beautiful. And so some of the dies you can see right here that I did this die right here, it cut out both the scalloped rectangle as well as the inside. So what I did is I colored in Shy Shamrock and then I popped, I stamped Hope in Flirty Flamingo. And then this is some of the new ribbon. It's a duo pack of white as well as petal pink. So I added a little bit of that. And then here's another, um, this is another die, part of that Unbounded Love bundle. And the word celebrate, I colored in pretty in pink. I colored um, the scalloped oval and then the other oval which cuts out, I just glued that on top just to give it some dimension. And then I've used those beautiful iridescent color shimmer gems. And here is that new white ribbon. So those are the four cards I made. So today I thought what we would do is I'm going to show you again how to use, how to do this, but I'm going to be using the masking technique, okay? I think masking is so easy to use, and I'm going to show you how, all right? I do have my colored cardstock I'm going to be using, so my card base is going to be Petunia Pop. My layer is going to be Pretty in Pink, and then we'll have the white on top. And so we're going to be using um, one sheet of eight and a half by 11. I've already cut it down to eight and by 10 and a half. So along the eight inch side, I'm going to score it at four. So I'm going to take it four. So our cutting is great because we have our cutting blade and then we also have our scoring blade attached. So I'm going to go ahead and score at the four inch mark. Then I'm going to turn it to the 10 and a half inch side and score it at five and a quarter. Okay, so what that does is it gives the score line is going to give me a focal point. So I'm going to stamp the first floral image right here and then I'm going to go out and around. So we're going to do that. I have a piece of vellum down here because of the glare of the light. So that's why that's there. Um, it, with our glass mat studio, it tends to um, show a glare with our lighting. Okay, so we are ready to get started. So I am using, you're going to want the biggest block for this floral image. You'll see how big it is. This is a clear photopolymer stamp. Um, and this is a nice big stamp, as you can tell. And so you're gonna need our biggest block, which is the F block. This is the biggest one we have. When I'm prepping my stamps, when they're first coming off, I usually, what I like to do is I take them out of the plastic. They are attached to this heavier plastic, but as you, you notice, we already have the images printed on the inside of the case. And so what I do is I take everything off of this, put it on here, and then I have this protective covering because I usually keep my dies inside with the matching stamp set. So when I'm prepping, when it's new, I like to take the film off. And so I've already done that, but I just wanna show you, I have an old sand block that we used to carry 
but you can just take a little piece of sandpaper if you want. And what I do is I just brush across just to get that production film off of it. And then I just usually just wipe it with my hand. So I know that it's ready and that the ink is going to grip it much better. So the first thing we're gonna do, here's my Memento Tuxedo Black Ink. I'm going to be using this with my blends, my blending brushes. And since this is such a big stamp, I'm just going to go ahead and all the way around, if you see, so now what we're going to do, I'm just making sure that I have all the coverage I need. All right. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do it this way. And I'm just going to stamp right here where the two score lines meet in the middle. And I'm going to press down and I'm going to use quite a bit of pressure. I'm moving my paper around, but the block is attached to the cardstock. Okay. Another thing that I have too that I've used in the past, this is almost like a hockey puck. You can get these on Amazon and just to press down even more, just so you get that nice crisp image. Okay. All right. So we're going to lift up. There we go. It's okay if you've got some spots right here. I'm not too worried about that. All right, so the next thing now, what we're gonna do again, is we're gonna go ahead and ink up our image. So I'm twisting a little bit, but then I'm also tapping. You do wanna have a juicy pad for these big, stamped image images okay so now now what i can do now remember we're going to be masking but it's going to be okay if i keep it the same way but then move it over just a little bit i'm just going to move it over just like that and again Lifting up. I've got two images. It's okay if it's crossing over. I'm not so worried about that. So again, we're gonna go back and we're gonna ink it up again. On my other cards that I did using the stamp set, I just used it three times. So again, I'm gonna go ahead and press down and I like using my little hockey puck. If you remember air hockey back in the 70s and 80s. But this is nice. It's got um, a nice smooth foam attachment. So it really gives you enough grip. There we go. Now what I want to do, I just want to look around and I want to see. I sort of like that. Um, because when we're masking, it's just gonna take on a whole different look. So let's get started with the masking. Okay, so the masking was introduced with one of our other stamps that's called Enduring Beauty. And I really think masking is just so wonderful because you can take the colors that you have and the blending brushes. And what I like to use with the masking is I like to use these the mini blending brushes. Our, here's a brand new one. Our blending brushes have these soft bristles. They are so easy to clean. And when you're finished using them, all I do is just take a paper towel and wipe it off. So I might use one for all my pinks. I might use one for haul the oranges. So I did get out some new ones because we are going to be using some different greens today. So in the masks, you have five sheets. Each sheet has a different function. If you notice here, you've got a notch and then the number one, you'll be able to feel the number one. That means it's the right side that you're using, but this notch, 
when you're using it, and but it's going to be different because I moved the stamp around, but you can place the notch and make a pencil mark where the notch is. And then when you get to use the next number, then you put that notch exactly where the first one was. I hope that makes sense, but I'm going to start in the middle here. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and find, and you'll see, hopefully you can see how this matches together. It all goes in together. Well, let's see if we can get, and usually there we go. So here you can see that everything is matched up. Okay. Now, if I were continuing to use just one image, I would take the notch that's right here. I would go ahead and make a pencil mark right there. But because I've moved around the, the stamp, I'm gonna have to place it. These are actually very, very easy to put together. You can tape, you can use some washi tape or some really non-stick tape because um, to keep the mask down, but I just use my hands to keep it down. When you're starting with number one, I'm going to use the lightest color. So my lightest color is going to be pretty in pink. All right. And I'm going to open it up and I'm going to put it to the side. And then I'm going to go ahead and use, let's see, I'm going to use this one. This has a little bit of pink. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to make circular motions like this on here okay and so i'm going to rub off just a little bit but here and then i'm just going to go ahead and rub it around again and the reason i take a little bit off on the paper towel or you can rub it some off on your glass mat as well um just like this you can take some off just so there there's not just a heavy clump from rubbing it onto the stamp pad. Okay. There we go. All right. Be careful when you're doing this because I'll show you. I did a little bit. I have a little bit of an oopsie. But we can cover that up with the sentiment. But look how pretty that looks. Isn't that beautiful? So I'm going to go ahead and do it again. So I'm using these three here. And there we go. And see how I'm lining it up. It lines up fairly easily. Okay, just like that. I'm going to hold it again. And we're going to rub and go ahead and rub it again. Oops, let me just just moved it a little bit, but that's okay. Oh, this one is really off. Did not mean to make it off, but that'll be okay. You have the other images. Okay, there we go. All right. Okay, so that's off a little bit, but that's okay. To me, it's not really going to matter. All right, then we've got one more that we're doing. There we go. So that's the first one. You can go over it if you want it to be a little bit darker, but we're going to go ahead and keep it that way. So that's one. Oh, the other thing I just want to show you, these rub off very nicely with the chamois. You can also run them underneath lukewarm water and the, the ink just comes off. Very easy. And they're very, very sturdy masks. So there's the first one. That we're, we're finished using that one. So now we're going to go to number two. All right, this is the number two. Again, I know this is the right side because I'm feeling it this way. Okay, so number two... And I think we're going to be using peach pie for number two. But first, we're going to get it started. Okay, there we go. Just like that. Okay. Then I'm going to take another blending brush. I'm going to 
rub the peach pie on there and then I'm just gonna go ahead and go over the mask, getting all of the areas. Wow, look at that. Right, so now we're gonna go to over to this side. There we go. Okay, just like this. All right. I just noticed too, this little area right here. Can you see that little circle? That little plastic goes right over that part. So I know I have it lined up. Remember this one was a little off, but that's okay. So I'm just gonna go ahead. And I'm not putting a lot of pressure. I'm really not using a lot of pressure. Okay. And there's that one. All right, so pretty. All right, and then we've got the last one over here again. So see this little circle? That's gonna go over that one right there. And then we can just move it around. I'm looking to make sure everything is aligned up. There it goes. Again, taking my peach pie, rubbing it over. Okay, there. Look at that. Really pretty. Just wait until the finished result. Now we're ready for the next one. And this one is number three. And this time we're using Petunia Pop. Okay, this is the last layer of our flower that we will be blending. So, like before, you, you end up finding how this layers up together since I've moved it all around. So see these two little dots? This is what I love about this. So all the little dots are covering the middle of these little flowers. I hope you can see that. So this one covers that there and there. So simple, okay? So again, I'm gonna take my Petunia Pop and I really, I, I'm gonna see, see how rich that is. Okay, so there's the first one. Wow. I mean, I'm amazed every time I do this. I just love it. Now we're all done. The flowers are all finished. So there we go. So we've used petal, or pretty in pink. We've used pumpkin, I mean peach pie, petal pink, peach pie, and petunia pop. Those are the three for the flowers that we made. And I'm just gonna hold this up so you can see how pretty that is. All right, now I'm ready to use the blue greens okay so we have summer splash and shy shamrock i'm going to use the summer splash first now what we're going to be using is number four okay so our number four so let's go ahead and get that lined up this is how it goes okay see the little squiggly line there that's how i know to let see the squiggly line that's how I'm following the guide. It took me a minute because I forgot my notch was over here. So there we go. I'm going to rub some on and I'm just gonna go ahead, see right here? I'm just gonna rub some off right there and go ahead. So some is lighter and some are darker. I like the gradation of the color. Okay, I'm gonna lift that up. Oh, so pretty. It's so pretty. This is a this is like a blue green. It is just I I love this. All right, so again, we're gonna go back over. Remember our squiggly line. I'm gonna go ahead and line up. See how quick and easy that was to line up? My squiggly lines helped guide me.
Look at that. So, so pretty. I love it. I love it, love it, love it. Now we're ready to use the last color, Shy Shamrock. We're going to use the last mask, number five. Remember, the notch was over this way. So, this is the more in depth, but look how simple, if you can see, how quick it was to put that on. All right? And I'm using this one as my guide a little bit. Okay. I'm still going to use the same blending brush because they're, they're in the co same color family. And then I'm going to go ahead and blend. As you can see, I'm using a circular motion. I like using the circular motion. Whoops. Okay, I, again, I got a little bit heavy on the blending, but again, that won't matter. We'll cover it up with sentiments and with embellishments. And we're all done. I know you're looking at this going, oh my gosh, she got some ink here. Really, that's not gonna matter, okay? It really won't matter. We'll be able to fix it. So here we go, I'm gonna get my, my cutter, and I'm going to cut along where I scored. So along the eight inch side, the score line at four, now instead of scoring, we're gonna be cutting it, just like that. All right, and then we're going to be cutting it at five and a quarter. There's that, and then we'll be cutting it in another five and a quarter. There we go. Okay, so now we have our four panels. And we're doing it this way. How pretty is this? So pretty. Now we have to decide which way we want it to go. So probably with this one, because I'll probably add ribbon right here. Now we have to decide. I sort of like that one going this way. I can stamp the sentiment right there. And I sort of like this one coming down. Again, we can stamp the sentiment right there. We know we want this one long. So we're going to have two going horizontal and two going vertical. So here I have my panels and I'm gonna go ahead and glue each panel onto the pretty in pink panel, okay? I'm gonna be using my multi-purpose glue. Since we are layering an eighth of an inch, these Panels right here are four and an eighth by five and three eighths, okay? So that's why I'm just gonna have about an eighth of an inch, there, an eighth of an inch edge, okay? Go ahead and get the rest of them. One thing when you're doing the One Sheet Wonders, you notice there's a lot of white space. And some people don't necessarily like all that white space, which I totally understand. So one thing you can do is splatter some ink color, if you want to, onto the fronts. So let me show you what I'm, I mean. So especially this one when we've made such a big mistake. So I'm going to use my, um, let's see, do I wanna use my blends or I just wanna use the markers? So I have the markers already and I think what I'm going to use is, mm, let's try a little bit of the petal pink and then we'll use some of the summer splash. So our, Stampin' Right markers, you have your thick and your thin. So the thin nib right here, 
and then your thick right here is a brush tip. So what you're going to do is you're going to flick the color using the top of the marker to give it some color. Do you see how I'm brushing that against there? And I would do that, I'm going to do that for each one, okay? Very quickly, I'm doing all the pink first, and I'm sort of moving it around to see exactly where I would like the color to go. See how we've got that splatter? All right, and we're going to do the next one. I'm, us I'm using this part right here. I'm not using the very end. I'm using that middle part of the brush. Okay, so there is Pretty in Pink. And I'm going to use Summer Splash. And I might not want a lot of the blue. Oh wow, look at this. It's so pretty though. Look at that. I love it. All right, so then we'll do this one. Let's go ahead and stamp our sentiment. I'm using the Unbounded Love and I'm not going to use any of the dies with this. I just want to use the stamp set, okay? So I can pick and decide which one I want. It might be sort of pretty. Like I said, I was going to use some of the in color ribbon, okay? This is this pretty ribbon. I just wanna show you how pretty this ribbon is. It has the stitching in it. You can see the stitching. I love the stitching. So I'm going to use my stamp and seal and I know that I want the ribbon to go about here okay because I'm going to cover my boo-boo so I'm going to turn it over and I'm going to use my stamp and seal to secure it and then on the other side I'm going to go ahead and secure it hoping that it's lined oh it's I did that actually pretty well and cut the edge. So now that's ready. And what I'll probably do is add a knot to it, but I wanted to lay it there because I just want my sentiment to go here. We're going to be using Shy Shamrock. I think Shy Shamrock is really pretty for all the sentiments, okay? So we're going to find a block, depending on what we want. You can use all different ones. How about we try the Happy Birthday? This one's a little bit bigger. And that'll fit nicely right there. I'm going to line up. I don't know if you guys can see, but I'm going to line up my happy birthday. I'm actually going to do it lower. You can't see. Let me show you right here. Hopefully you can see it. Oh, right here. I'm going to line up my happy birthday on the grid. And then I'm going to be using, this is my number C block, and I'm just going to push down and lift up. I've already used this before, so I've already prepped it, like with the sandpaper that I showed you earlier. Okay, and I'm going to stamp happy birthday right here. Look at how vibrant that is. That is so pretty. So that's that one. I like that happy birthday. We might want to use a different one now. But maybe let's just make them, to make it simple, let's just do all happy birthday. I think that'll be just great. So here's the happy birthday there. I do love that ribbon. That one was covering, covering our boo-boos. This one, we're just going to stamp the happy birthday. Right here in the corner. Here we go. Everybody needs birthday cards, don't they? Now remember, this one's going vertical. So I'm gonna stamp it right about here, the happy birthday, okay? And then our last one, right about there. Okay, there we go. So here we have those beautiful new ink colors that just, oh, they're just so yummy, all right? So now we're going to go ahead and glue them onto our card bases, and our card bases are Petunia Pop. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and use my multi-purpose glue. All right, so now we have all of our cards put together, okay? So I'm going to show you, we have these two right here, and we have these right here. And then what I'm going to do is now I'm just gonna add a little tie. I'm just gonna do a knot. So this is what we call a Fobo. And I'm just gonna make a knot. And this ribbon is so easy to work with. And then I'm gonna use my paper snips and cut at an angle. Cut at an angle. All right. And my paper snips are great. I tend to buy several pairs of paper snips because I use some for cutting with my paper or dimensionals, but this one with the ribbon means this is my ribbon. These are my paper snips for ribbon. Okay. So that's why I like to keep those there. All right. Look at this. Look how wonderful they are. Then if we want to add, now this time what I was going to use is our new resin. These are our new resin dots. These are in all the new in colors. And so what I did earlier is I cut a slit on the side. It does have a flap back here, but it's so much easier if you have the slit because then these just pull out really easily. All right, I'm gonna use my take your pick tool with the putty end. And we're gonna go ahead and add some resin dots to it. And I think it would be sort of fun to use several different ones. So here I like, there's peach pie. And let's use a small summer splash. And maybe we're gonna use a smaller petunia pop right there. How cute, really, really cute. You can use as many, I like to use them in threes. Whoops, I just, lost, I just lost one. I don't know what happened to him. Um, oh, here he is, he's right here. He's right here. Okay, we'll worry about him later. All right, let's take another one. Resin dot, come on. There we go. I'm gonna add that one there, and then I'm gonna use Put him there and then let's use there okay perfect all right I don't know if I really need any resin dots with this one I sort of just like the ribbon so I'm not gonna worry about that one and then I've got this last one and I'm gonna go ahead and put that dot there put one there and then let's do peach one it wants to come off there we go come on there we go okay so all right there we are folks that's it this is a little bit longer um just because we did the masking technique but i think these are just so fun okay they're really really fun as I said, this new stamp set and the masking will be available May 1st. If you need a catalog, here's the catalog. If you need a catalog, please let me know, DM me. Don't forget to subscribe below. That would be great if you subscribe below um, to my YouTube channel. And you can follow me at Lizzie Stamps on Instagram and also on um, Facebook at Lizzie Stamps Stamping Up. Mm -hmm.